what we have here is the climax, I think, of our epoxy capacitor experiments. And so, I've taken and soldered onto the leads some wires. This was suggested, though, uh, if I'm fair, I, I've been considering it for a while, but this was suggested by a viewer in the comments, and he uh, wanted me to use ice, which I think is cool, and we'll give that a try, too. But I soldered onto the wires, and this is, of course, a cup from an already exploded capacitor, a little larger, then I filled it. And there is about three-eighths of an inch of epoxy on top. I've got this nice beaded ridge here, so that epoxy plug will be in there super hard, and obviously it can't get out the bottom. So this should be quite a bit of fun, and with luck we'll get quite a bang. Okay, viewer adaptation uh, of a suggestion. There should be absolutely no way the vents can work in this. By God, we're going to get one to blow yet. Power on! Look at that, it pushed right through the side of both of them. So that's what it did. It went right out the side. Fascinating. I mean, I it's really encased. There is a bubble down in there. It wasn't there before. The epoxy's gone a touch gummy from the heat. But it appears to have vented out of the capacitor on the inside, then blown through the wall of the capacitor on the outside, this aluminum shell. So we're back to square one again.